Everyone knows that the most popular ways to multi-stream right now are Restream.io and the Atom Vertical plugin. But there's an exciting new plugin that offers features that no one else has been able to offer before that may cause a change in the landscape. The new multi-streaming feature is part of the SE Live plugin by Stream Elements, and I'm gonna be honest, it is incredible. It makes it a breeze to multi-stream to Twitch, YouTube, Kick, and even TikTok without using a stream key. Plus, it offers some incredible new features I have never seen before. But let's start with the most important question of all, is multi-streaming even worth it? Are you struggling to make short form content out of your amazing streaming content? Then this is the game changer for you. And the best thing, it won't cost you any extra time. Nexus Clips automatically analyzes all your streams in real time and uses advanced algorithms to select the best moments for your short form content. Then with only a few clicks, you can go from raw clip to a fully edited short with the title card, subtitles, really everything you need to have it ready to post to YouTube, TikTok and Instagram. Create shorts every week that please the algorithm and get seen by potential viewers to grow your stream easily and automatically with Nexus Clips. Create your account now by following the link in the description thank you nexus clips for sponsoring this video if you're new here my name is barry epps i'm a twitch partner and cryptographer turned content creator looking to help 10,000 people start their streaming journey and grow their channel the right way there are hundreds of videos on youtube arguing you should be multi-streaming from creators of all sizes but to be honest there are just as many arguing you shouldn't. And there is really no right answer to this, at least not a blanket answer that works for everyone. I know, you guys are used that I have the answer to pretty much anything. But in this case, I can't give you an answer. I've seen it work for some people, and I've seen it half the average viewers of other streamers. It fully depends on your personal journey. But if you've never multi-streamed before, there is only one thing you need to ask yourself. Do you want to grow your stream and turn it into a career? If you answered yes to that, then why wouldn't you at least try multi-streaming? For some people, it will not help them at all, and it only becomes a convenient way to back up all your VODs to YouTube. But if you want to become a content creator, does it really matter if it's on Twitch, YouTube, or TikTok? If I were starting today, I definitely would not particularly care where my content is discovered, as long as it is discovered. So instead of putting all your eggs in one basket and only streaming to Twitch, why not experiment and see if it works for you? There is one thing you need to keep in mind though that many people will see as a reason not to multi-stream. Some people will worry about your community becoming fragmented, some living on Twitch, some on YouTube and some on TikTok. But that just means we need to funnel them to the right location. But we will keep marketing funnels as a topic for another video. Let's set up the plugin, look at what it can do, and then later we will compare it to the two most popular methods we mentioned earlier. Restream and Atom Vertical. One of the things we talk about a lot on this channel is that you have to focus on the things that move the needle. And that often means that you need to keep yourself to one of my core values. The KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. And I live by this creed. Somewhat. For me, the KISS principle means that once things are set up, they should be simple to use. That means that, for me at least, I can invest a lot of time in setting things up, as long as I can then use them at a moment's notice. And that is exactly how this plugin works. Going live and streaming to Twitch, YouTube, Kick, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, it only takes a second at that point. And if you haven't installed the plugin yet, then let's do that first. Go to streamelements.com forward slash SE live and download the plugin. Once downloaded, just follow the installer. And once it's installed, open up your OBS. The first thing they did is make it easy for you to stream to all platforms. It doesn't matter where you want to stream. All you need to do is add the stream to your output settings and log into your platform. You can even stream directly to TikTok without using a stream key just by logging in. But this does require you to have access to TikTok Live, which means that you need to have a thousand followers or something like that. Once you're logged in and connected, you can see all your platforms indicated by the platform icon and the channel name. If you switch a stream on, the moment you click the start streaming button, it will stream to all the activated streams simultaneously. As you can see, one of my streams, however, has a little extra icon. This is my primary stream. The primary stream is the one stream you cannot turn off. So make sure you have the right one selected. If you ever want to change your primary stream, it's super simple. 
toggle the stream you want to make primary on and then click on the hamburger menu and click make primary. But this doesn't come without an issue. You can see right now that my Twitch and YouTube are set to monitor or horizontal mode, while my TikTok and another YouTube are set to mobile or vertical mode. For you, they might all be set to horizontal mode, which, especially for TikTok, we do not want. To change your streams to vertical, you need to add an extra canvas. You can change any of your streams that are capable of vertical streaming to vertical by clicking the hamburger menu, going to canvas, and creating a new canvas. Name your canvas whatever you want and set it to 1080p vertical. Just like that, you have another canvas which you can make a completely fresh layout on. It works just like the normal scenes and sources in OBS, except for one thing. To add the scenes, you press the little plus button in the bottom of the window, but to add the sources, you press the hamburger menu next to the scene. Once you are done building your scene, you can click the hamburger menu again to link that scene to one of your horizontal scenes. Just like in other multi-stream plugins, this allows you to set it so that if your horizontal scene is, for example, the game scene, the vertical one will also be your game scene. And if you switch to your just chatting, well, then the vertical changes as well. This is also where one of the first game changers comes in. It can be very annoying to viewers that if they are on one platform, such as Twitch, that they then hear the subscriber alerts, membership alerts, etc. from another platform. So unlike other plugins, the SE Live plugin allows you to make multiple canvases. You could literally create a canvas for every single one of your streams so that you can have a canvas with TikTok alerts, a canvas with YouTube alerts, a canvas with Twitch alerts, and a canvas with kick alerts. To change what canvas belongs to which stream, we just have to go back into the hamburger menu of that stream. In the canvas menu, we can then pick between the different vertical canvases you have made so that you can stream to each platform individually. The only thing you have to watch out for is that each canvas you stream to also takes more of your CPU or GPU power. So make sure your PC can handle it. Now that we can stream on five different platforms, we do run into a third challenge. And to completely understand this challenge, we need to look at your computer, specifically your CPU. Modern day CPUs have eight, sometimes even 16 cores. Each core has at least one thread, but often has two, meaning every core can do one or two separate things completely independent of what the other cores can do or even the other thread is doing. Our human brains are not that good. They are squishy and wet, and even the best multitaskers can only do two or three things efficiently. So how are we supposed to keep up with a game, the activity feed of four different platforms and four different chats? Well, that is exactly why Stream Elements has now made their activity feed multi-platform. All your Twitch and YouTube alerts go into one box. And to help you keep an eye on your chat, there is also a chat widget, which allows you to see your Twitch and YouTube chats in one box, plus an additional one for your TikTok chat. That way you can keep an eye on everything that's going on and never be out of the loop. So now that you know how to set up the Stream Elements plugin, is it actually good? Well, I've been using it for a few weeks now to multi-stream to TikTok and YouTube, and it seems very, very reliable. The connections are solid, the login process is simple, but there is a catch to all of this. See, the one main benefit of using Restream is that you only stream it once, from your PC to Restream.io. They then take care of sending it to the actual streaming services, which means that you are only encoding your stream once and only sending it one. However, you can't stream horizontal and vertical at the same time because you're only sending one stream. Atom Vertical and the SE Live plugin, on the other hand, send a separate stream to each platform. And while you can choose to only encode it once by using one canvas, that sort of takes away of the power of the plugins. If you want to stream horizontal and vertical at the same time, then you are encoding it twice and sending it to every platform separately. Now imagine that you stream to Twitch, YouTube Horizontal, TikTok, and YouTube Vertical, which each their own canvas because they each have their own chat and their own alerts and none of the others. Well, now you're encoding it four times and sending it four times, which means you need four times your bitrate and internet speed and four times the encoding power for your GPU. 
So while the load between Atom Vertical and SE Live is pretty equal when you encode it twice, one vertical and one horizontal, the load on your PC goes up fast if you are encoding multiple. So are you going to multi-stream? And which plugin will you be using? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, multi-streaming does not work unless you can make content that stands up against other streamers. If you can't be entertaining and conversational with your streamers, you can have more discoverability, but it won't draw any viewers in because there are other streamers out there that are better or more fun. If you don't want to lose out on viewers to grow your channel, then check out the video right here. And as always, stream better, stream smart.